There are also some factors that affect how fast the SN2 reactions can occur. Firstly, the CX bond strength plays a part, just like in the SN1 reactions. A weaker bond requires less energy to break, so the reaction occurs faster. Since we already know the relative bond strengths of different halogens, we can predict that iodoalkanes alkanes react faster than bromo, chloro, and fluoroalkanes in that order. Secondly, sterics plays a huge role in this reaction. Since the nucleophile has to be able to approach the backside of the halogenyl alkane, the less bulky groups like alkyl groups around, the faster the reaction. Thirdly, how electron poor the carbon center also matters. Since alkyl groups are the electron donating, they tend to lessen how electron poor the carbon center is and makes it less attractive to nucleophiles. So, for the SN2 mechanism, primary halogenyl alkanes react the fastest, followed by secondary, then tertiary halogenyl alkanes. Recall that this is opposite from the SN1 mechanism.